On MCM, we are discussing matters the afterlife, plants, and uh, we've asked you, Fale kwa Kiswahili Sanifu, right? Utandika wilia? All right, hey, that's Kiswa Kinge. Kiswa Kinge meaning Kiswahili Kingereza. It's called Kutohoa in Fasihi, right? Okay. Uh, utandika wiliako, ukifikisha miaka kama ngapi? And this is literally in regards to you. Uh, also, related to actually a city of Ogola sponsoring. And uh, I liked the speeches from the daughter to the son. Actually, that was eulogy. And uh, we are definitely going to get into that in just a bit. And I have my guest who is live with me in the studio. You've just seen a sneak peek shot right there. He's Alban Guono. He's been here before and definitely you're about to get lit. So move closer to your TV because it's about to be a chat fest, right? At Brian Circle 101 and at Y254 for channel underscore Pale Instagram on the hashtag Y in the morning. Karibu sana, Alban. Thank you. All right, let's get into it. I don't know, what is your reaction to uh, yesterday? First of all, it was, I think, on Friday at uh, Ulinzi and then uh, yesterday. Yeah. Uh, how did you, um, Ama, what is your sound of on, uh, especially Joel, Joel's speech, now that he's a boy child? Okay, uh, to me, I can say that Joel's speech, yani, uh, he was just okay. Like, he's not bothered about so many things. That is the part that I love that man with. He's not bothered with Vitu Mingi. By the way, after General Logola passed uh, away, kumekuwa na so many uh, bloggers trying to tell us how he was killed and the rest. But you see, the son yeah. is not even bothered about such. The son yeah. was bothered on how he can give his father right. uh, a beneficial send off the, uh, a, a, a in line with whatever the father wanted. Because yeah. the father alikuwa na specifications on what he would wish to yes, be after to be done his uh, death. When he passed yeah, so I can say uh, I was impressed with him. Even the yeah. daughter, I was mm -hmm. so much impressed with right. the family. Also, uh, there's a friend of mine who we were having a conversation and uh, he was telling me how many of us now that we're in Kenya, Kenyan parents that have mentored their kids and inspired them to a point, the day you'll die, your child, your daughter, your son will give a whole TED talk about how you are a good father and how you had plans with them. Like just that engagement and that father to son connection. Mm -hmm. Like how many African parents, especially now Kenyan parents, have such a relationship with their sons and daughters? I can say very few. You say very few? Yeah. That's what you think so? Yeah. Why? That's where most of our parents are going wrong nowadays. Uh -huh. Because you find that uh, when, a, when, when a son or a daughter gets of age and then they move out of home, utapata kuwa wanaachwa kwa the hands of, uh, the hands of uh, walimuengu sasa. Right. Wakikuja campus ama wakienda college, so they get their survival means. Yes. But something interesting with this family of Ogola, if you right. listen to the words of her daughter, mm -hmm. the daughter was uh, talking about how the father was a committed family man. Yeah. and he could go extra mile for the family, and he was ever available. In yeah. fact, there was even some photos in social media circulating on how he was even sleeping with his own grandson. I don't know whether you saw that. Right. Like he was ever available, Present. which is, yeah, yeah. which is mm -hmm. something that is not common with uh, our African, families today. Uh, for African parents. Yeah. But what could you think, before we get to stories, is a will and afterlife, because I also believe for... Uh, we were actually talking about it in the intro today. I believe for any parent to write a will or any guardian or whoever it is, there's property involved. And yeah. mostly wills are from mostly wealthy families. At least you had something mm -hmm. that you can leave to your kids in form of assets now. Mm -hmm. sure. So, uh, gauging at that, do you also see that most African parents have something to leave? Like we just mentioned here, uh, most boy child in Ulia, Ulikuwa 18, Ulifika 18, Ukambiwa Toka Wende. You are at campus and that's what's up. First of all, they don't want you to make phone calls and start asking for help. Mm -hmm. And then there's a statement somebody said, one, once you're 30, you are the background. You no longer come from a poor background. Sure. So <laughs> how do you pick up from there and successfully go in a life? Because at this point, sometimes maybe you don't have the tools of how mm -hmm. to navigate in the real world out here. Yeah. And the world is very tough to the boy child. Like you must prove yourself even before you're believed in any profession so far. Sure. So how do you chant your path successfully? Um, I can say that uh, uh, I don't know what happened. You see, uh, previously, when we were young, and maybe uh, the times of our parents, you will find that at that time they were entitled to so many of their parents' assets, unlike nowadays, including land, piece of, piece, uh, piece of land that they could be given, they could be, like, and nowadays, Utapata kama sisi, like you, you've grown up in a family, unapata kama the land itself, hata haiko, wewe ndi unafaa right. kujitaftia, then you buy yourself a land. So unapata yeah. kuwa, the parent hana something to write in the will, so that a divide mm. amongst the children when you wako. 
So unapata kama it's you, we mwenye ujitaftie kama ni kununua your own piece of land, <coughs> uitafute uinunue, then you build up, uh, uanze ku have your own assets, yeah. unlike before. So utapata kuwa nowadays it's a bit different and particularly in our African culture. Right. Live alone the Western culture because in most cases they have assets to distribute. But yeah. with us, only the rich as per your words previously. In mm. most cases, will you find these things of wills coming? Yeah. So, Napata, just common families, they are not bothered because there is nothing to be left. Yes. Yeah. Nothing to be given to you. So, mm -hmm. there is no purpose of having that will. That will, yeah. yeah. But also, when you look at it in our African family setups, it's usually like when somebody who is rich, and it's usually first ones when they, they're usually the first ones to make it or to become successful. So, maybe if he had a car, if he had a shamba, or let's say Nimze Obama, mm -hmm. and he had like two, three wives. You know, our African thing is, we want panda megu everywhere. Sure. And uh, in a manner like, uh, let's say for example, in an instance like General Ogola or Spaston, probably a lot of people will expect he had like five kids, seven kids, but this guy had a straight agenda plan. He only had two, two kids. kids. Mm -hmm. But then when you look at it on the other side is, when a person of that caliber dies, it's a lot of people come on board to say, oh, I'm the firstborn daughter. Oh, nilikuwa US. Oh, I was in Uganda. Oh, mimi ndo nilikuwa nimeoleka kwake, blah, 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 blah. When such things come up as well, I think a will now is there to just clarify that, sure. you know. And also it validates. But don't you also think it will throw out this innocent child? Because first of all, you did not write a letter <laughs> to be born in this specific family. Sure. And here you are without nothing on your name. Yes, I understand daughters get married and they are expected to bring in wealth, but nowadays it's vice versa. Mm -hmm. I understand most Kikuyu families actually, they, they, are, they give land to their daughters as compared to like Western Yans, it's mm -hmm. only sons who For are given, sons, yeah. right? Yeah. <coughs> okay, so my input on that, I can say that, uh, let me first of all make references to the family of General Ogola because it is something that is just fresh. Right. And uh, I'm so much impressed with the, the kind of a family that that guy had. First of all, Sakwa, as you've said, you'll find that most of these wealthy families, whenever such things happen, right. you find most of people coming, oh, I uh, was also uh, a daughter, I was also a son, yeah, I was, I was a, the first a, a wife, first wife mm. to this man. <laughs> but you never had such for General Ogola. This yes. tells you that this guy, the way as per the words of her daughter, <coughs> he was a committed man in his family. Yeah. So that's why Unapata, is if it was ingine kama hizo has jekuwepo. The but then I would say, mm -hmm. for the families, they never to come as a wagaz in Aoka. Unapata kama o a a woman comes and asema I was the first wife. Now this yeah. is where now the importance of the will of the will comes in, mm -hmm. because utapata kuwa you know will it is not just a legal document like right. we view it, but mm -hmm. to me I would refer to a will as a testament of love. You know this is when now you have to prove to people that these are the people that I love and these are the people that I would wish to have my belongings when I go away. Yeah. Now, it's, it will be, yes, unfortunate for those who are not included in the will, even if you are a biological son, a biological daughter, or even married to that particular person. Yeah. So that is why it is very, very important to have a will, because if you don't have it right. for the families that Vitus is not okay, because you a person in kila kitu. As a man, when you get money, this is when right. you, think, you start thinking of just kurusha rusha begu here and there. Then eventually, if, when yeah. you die, yes. and y if you die without a will, yes. then now you will find that you are leaving the mm -hmm. pro your property in the hands of the court. They right. are the people to decide. To decide. And as they are deciding, uh -huh. remember you are leaving also wrangles down, uh, uh, behind. In the family. Yeah, yes. because they won't accept the court outcome, of course. Yes. Yeah. And most of the time, sometimes, there's always a party that feels it was unfair, sure. especially during the final verdict. Mm. Now, so it, it goes through a process, and I'm just checking an update here. A will goes through a process called a probate, and uh, it described here as a legal process that occurs after someone dies and leaves a will. It also involves reviewing the deceased person's assets, just what you've said, mm -hmm. uh, determining uh, who inherits them. So the probate proceeds uh, typically focus on the validity of the, of the will, and they can also be initiated with or without a will. For example, just somebody died, and like, s s let's say still of that caliber, so they'll have to seek services of a lawyer to actually have that in place. Mm -hmm. So the process can be consuming and typically includes court appearances, a lot of paperwork. Some of the things that are sorted out during the probate include mm -hmm. submitting proof that the will is valid, I've just mentioned that, making a catalog of the deceased property and assigning value to each item, paying all debts and taxes. Oh, so it means when somebody accurate okay, taxes, mm -hmm. the people behind will pay for it. Mm -hmm. And then he talks about distributing assets as assigned by the will. And then 
also the person in charge, because now it's called an estate now that the person has passed on, he or she will be responsible to ascertain who are the close family relatives, blood relatives. And I think that here is where the drama comes in, mm -hmm. what you've just mentioned. Uh, probably there's somebody who was, you know, in an African setup, we say they were born out of wedlock. Mm -hmm. Ama in Jando, in Swahili, right? I don't know yeah. if you've ever heard of that. Yeah, I've heard of that. So how do you cater for these guys? <laughs> and maybe they genuinely were born mm -hmm. in this family. But maybe the person who has passed never introduced them or never had a conversation. About them? Yes. Uh, that's why I said it's unfortunate because, uh, you know, uh, with a will, uh, if at all they are not included in it, then yeah. they, there is no way they can get involved in such a family. So that is why I can say it is very, very important for a will. And now let me take you back. You talked about uh, the validations that need to be taken after someone, uh, uh, pass, uh, after someone dies. But then, uh, Brian, I know you are aware that there are different types of will. As per what I also know, uh -huh. there mm -hmm. are different types of will. If you look at, I will keep on making references to General Ogola because mm -hmm. the, yeah. that is kind of the theme of our uh, conversation. Yeah. You find that, like for uh, General Ogola, the kind of a will that uh, he left behind was an oral one. It was not written. It was not written. Yeah, it was. It was. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I've tried to right. check on various sources, but you see, mm -hmm. whoever was talking about the will that Ogola had was his brother. His right. elder brother. He's the one who spoke about the will and mm -hmm. whatever he, 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 he wanted after yeah. his death. Then the son just crowned it up. Yeah, the son talked about, about having a conversation with him, yeah. Yeah, with the dad saying, you know, I have some money in, in some account, you know, use that, I don't know, to pay tithe or something. Yeah, but I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I saw that. But uh -huh. you, never, you never saw it written somewhere because it's right. a document. You know, a document mm -hmm. is like a paper. Absolutely. So yeah. it depends with the type of a will. Right. You know, just an oral will like the word case of, of Ogola, yeah. by word uh -huh. of mouth, uh -huh. there is no way you can start going and uh, having it get validated. But mm -hmm. then there, there are these other two famous types of will. We call it the holographic will, nice. whereby mm -hmm. it is written, mm -hmm. but then there are no witnesses. Because remember, for a will to be a will, there has yes. to be witnesses. Witness, yeah. And these witnesses must be in sound mind, as yeah. the same as the yeah. person writing the will. Right. Then now there is because there's also incidences where somebody was forced to write a will. Yeah, Actually, there's a video last week of an American lady who took somebody from Jose. I think who it was a Bra Brazilian lady. A Brazilian lady. Yeah. The, 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 the guy had already died. Yeah. But I remember later, I could force the door lady and assign your will. Mm. You know, you can imagine in such an incident where somebody's about to die and they've not talked about anything they're leaving behind. Yeah. And they're being forced and coerced. Sure. That's unfair and sad. I can say that is why you brought the topic and you're asking uh, yeah. at what age are we supposed to write? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Uh, so let me get you back there. Right. You know, to me, I can say that writing a will is not age bound. Right. Let me start by saying that. Mm -hmm. I believe that, Sakwa, once you have an asset, mm -hmm. once you have a family, once yeah. you have kids, you yeah. have to write a will anytime, mm -hmm. as early as it is supposed to be. Because remember, yeah. no one in this world. Uh, owns the uh, uh, advantage of uh, the clicking clock, the uh, tickling clock, because mm -hmm. it goes all around. You don't know when your time will come, and it can mm -hmm. happen any time. Now that mm -hmm. nowadays we wake up and we hear that accidents they may happen, so yeah. many poor may kufa, and right. remember how una will, such a thing will happen. Is yeah. incident utakuwa, utakuwa wheeled kuwa bank na umekufa, instead of enjoying your, your, your peaceful death, mm. <laughs> umepelekwa pale bank wendu wanze kusign vitu. But remember, right. ingekuwa, na, ingekuwa something like a will ameacha behind. Right. Maybe alikuwa nangoja for a, yeah. a specific time, anasema, ah, at the moment, but I don't need a will. Let me right. wait for some time. Yes. And then you meet your death all of a sudden. Mm. So I have to say that, to me, it's not time bound. Once you have a property mm. that you can leave behind, Yes. Once you have a family, mm -hmm. once you have kids, right. then you have to write a will as soon as you think of it so yeah. that such things doesn't happen later on. But also when you look at it with our African, you know, set of beliefs, uh, they're called our uh, belief systems. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, if you start doing that, mm -hmm. you're predicting slowly, yeah. predicting your death. Ni, 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 ni. And actually, if you look at some of the stories that have been told in those lines, mm -hmm. you'd see that somebody who started writing a will in the African setup, they eventually died at some point. So I don't know if it's by fate or by choice or by decision, but anyways, just like you said, mm -hmm. the day that you go, you have no idea. Sure. It happens unknowingly. But don't you think that's a conflict, especially in the African traditional society? It is. That is why most of us Africans, we don't engage in writing wills if you've mm -hmm. been keen. Yeah, actually. We, we don't. <laughs> in really, the, but yeah. in the Western culture, it is, 
part and parcel of their life. But yeah. in the African culture, we don't. Because yeah. we believe... Why do we fear departing? Mm, what I have to say is that, you know, uh, Brian, in most cases, human beings are like, uh, we are guided by what we believe in. Because yeah. even in the Bible, because I'm a Christian, so I can make references in the Bible, you yeah. may find uh, scenarios whereby someone believed and something happened. If yeah. you believe in something, it can eventually happen. So if you believe that by writing a will, I'm calling for my death, it can happen. That is why sometimes you've said, in most cases, some people start writing a will and then they get their demise as early as a premature yeah. death. So yeah. sometimes it's a belief, and you know belief is so strong. Wait, this cultural beliefs back at home, if you believe and follow them to the latter, they eventually come to pass. Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. But if you don't, in them, they don't happen. Like, let's say, for example, for the case of my family, us, we believe in hospital and church, period. We don't believe that sometimes somebody can do to you something that you require. When they were which doctor so that for new rituals, we don't believe in that. Kabisa, kabisa. Yeah. But you find for the families when you want to believe, such things happen. Nazina happen, paka we mwenye uone zime happen. Belief is very, very strong. Yeah. So and some of it works, just like you've said. Mm. You know, maybe you're not okay. I don't know if you had this superstition of Sigui, if a black cat crosses you while you're walking, <laughs> early in the morning, you're bound to have a bad day, yeah. that is bad luck. Uh, if a person, I don't know, does what, Sigui, there's evil eyes, nini, nini. Mm. So I don't know if some of these things are spiritual or it's African traditional set of beliefs, but some of them are true. <coughs> Like, yeah. For example, somebody <laughs> would have a cut cross and they'll arrive with bad energy. <laughs> bad energy stay far away. <laughs> it becomes true if yes. you totally believe in them like I'm telling you. Right. Yeah, it happens because some, some people, even they end up going back to their, to their houses. When I say, Siku yangu isha ribika. Now when I believe, now I go against that, when I end up, when I meet some bad nini. And it actually happens. Yeah, yeah it happens. So right. I can say, for us to get past this issue of our will, Watch yeah. at what you believe for, uh, that uh, to Kiandika will mapema, then we are calling for our death. I yeah. think we should throw that belief away because, like mm -hmm. I've told you, to me, Najua, if you strongly believe in something, it happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they called Generation Alphas, our, our fathers and our grandfathers? Mm -hmm. um, what, is, what is the word for them? Please, Sema uh, Paleko comment section in just a bit. Uh, when you look at some of the traditions that they practiced, even way, way back in stories like inheritance and property, mm -hmm. most of the stories around it, are, they are crowded within a backdrop of family wrangles. A fami first wife, Alisema Sijui. And then even when it comes to burial, Sijui Alisema Kichwe Yangali Oapi. Mm. I've actually seen these stories in real life. You know, Alisema Sijui Kizi Kwevi, Hata Rest Kwenyako, Sijui Asipovali Shotai, da 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 da. Yiri Yada Wahala, there's so many stories in there. So also when you look at what we've practiced right here in Africa, and mm -hmm. like you say, you want us to shy away from such beliefs, it becomes difficult to preach to your father right now and mm -hmm. tell him, Dad, I want you to stop believing what you believe. First of all, you are a kid and you can't tell him nothing, right? Sure. Yeah. So it's, it becomes hard. Yeah, sure. So stories the afterlife are a little bit mystical and complicated, but I think as time goes by, it gets better now that you guys out here, millennials and Gen Zs, you have so much information. Mm -hmm. You're fluid in terms of your thinking as compared to them, like their thought pattern is fixated on what my ancestor said. Sure. What, Kwanzaa, if they give you a name of that, like for me, Sakwa, Sakwa is my great grandpa, uh, inside, my, my, inside here, my grandma's. So they're expecting you to just be like him. Mm. And first of all, they're manifesting that he comes through you, which I feel like is a bad idea. Sure. But it, some people are comfortable with that. But then also, they're like, in the afterlife, he's happy because he was, uh, what is the word, reincarnated mm. through you. Mm. Which I don't know, but I don't know what's your sound off on that? To me, I, I believe. Uh, yeah, it happens. You know, even me, I was named after my grandfather. Alban was my grandfather. Uh, but then you find that my grandmother used to say, uh, when I was uh, still young, he used to she used to tell me that um, I'm, uh, I'm having behaviors that could be attributed to the, those that Alban had. Bad behaviors? Ah, no, not <laughs> bad. <laughs> of course, good behaviors. Right. But then so Sakwa, I can say that uh, that is why the names we give to our kids, let me start by saying so. Right. They really matter a lot, mm -hmm. I can say so. Because you find mm -hmm. that nowadays in the movies, not your names zina, uh, zina, 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 yeah. And most of us nowadays, the Gen Z, CC, utapata, mm -hmm. when you get a kid, umesikia kajina kwa movie, pap, mm -hmm. your son is that 
will give you your son that name or your daughter. Yeah. But you, 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 you don't even know the origin of that name, what it actually means, and the yeah. circumstances that surround it. So either right. that one, I'm also a believer. I know it happens. Na hizo vitu za nyumesema, like the traditions, ji, kuzika mtu, lazima kichwa ifesu wapi, those things even mimi ni mezi witness. That's why I'm yeah. telling you, if you believe in them, they happen, and you cannot go past them. But it becomes yeah. hard to detach, especially if it's strongly cultivated in your family. Sure, I was headed there. You see, mm. like, for the case of my dad, mm. my dad, um, I know maybe he could be watching at the moment. He told us, because we are only three sons, and... Uh, one, one, one daughter. He told us that uh, when he dies, he would really wish that to see plaster graveyard yake. Oh, that was his word? Yeah, that was his word. And Alisema, see at Alisema jokilali, he meant what he said. Because Alikuwa Nasema Najua is a person who is passionate about his Mambuna land, Mambuna, the green nature. Right. So Alikuwa na argue from the fact that why should you keep my grave mm. for the next? 20 or 30 years, right. you like ukiangalia the graveyards of my, my uh, great grandparents, mm -hmm. may their souls rest in peace. Nimezaliwa yeah. nikazipata hapo, 19 mm. something, 19. They, they are plastered as well? Yeah, they are plastered as well. Mm -hmm. But the concrete there, ziko strong up to date. Kumanisha, yeah. it's so hard for someone to build hapo, not unless yeah. that section ikwe segregated, yeah. like ikwe, like ikwe. It's like a graveyard yeah, so set naona. aside. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, likuwa na believe you. Naonda pata kuwa, Mm -hmm. Kama kata, such a thing is if anyway, mm -hmm. then akekufa, and we believe in it. Mm -hmm. Eventually, utapata kama tutakuwa na some issues, oh, so you tuli, tuli plaster na ea kuwa nataka. So such mm -hmm. things, really? man, they happen. That's For one real? thing. It's so difficult to get them out. Sasa mimi is wezi anza kukaa chini na dad, ni anza uh, kumambio, you know what, dad, we better stop believing in such things like yes. ningumu sana. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hata, hata kuwa ready for that conversation. Right. I'm trying to get to uh, the... Con the, the, the question online, we have asked you, Unafakwandika will, Ukifika Edge Gun, and I love the fact that Alban here has said it's not time bound, so you can write it at any time. Mm -hmm. uh, before uh, the other, right? Okay. So, uh, Dennis Nyongesa Nasema Nikiwa na Mwesi in Bungoma County, Niko live for Moja Hadi Timati, shout out to you. Uh, future Kid and Nasema Mimi Nisha Ndika Nikiwa 18. Landika bro, I put one behind me. To me, a screenshot could DM to own a, a sneak peek. The rest is good morning, good morning. JJ, I was going to say, I'm not taking anyway. I'm basically following. I'm not taking me on factors. Come again, JJ. I put one behind me. Linus, Lino, Waluya, I'm not saying I'm more just Anna. And then Jenkins Mwangi, I'm going to say, for after at the age 15, 50 years, I'm going to say you are eligible to write a will. And then Prince wa Eldorado and Asema Nikona will already Maliake and his wife na mom. They will share equally when the time of meeting his creator comes. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, that is Prince wa Eldorado. And then the rest is locked in Kennedy Jumba and Asema. Uh, watching who else right here? Charles Kafu Kafu and Asema, good morning, good morning to you. Charles Gidhinji Wadhumani and Asema, good morning, good morning. All right, at what point should you write a will? Well, definitely, would like to hear from you, and that is the conversation we are having right here with Alban. Now, let me just introduce another panelist that has joined in right now. I have uh, Lucky Mzalendo, who is a youth court, and uh, many other titles. Karibu sana, Alban. So we, uh, we've actually gotten into a deeper conversation about stories as a will, and he was actually just trying to sound off in an African perspective uh, what happens, especially where we come from. Most of our forefathers practice the traditions that they know, but like he said, uh, there's a point where we mentioned that when you predict uh, by writing your will early, it, you could possibly die, because when you look at some of the stories in, that, in those lines, it eventually came to pass early, and it will last year, and then Akakufa, like maybe after two, three years in between. So most African, you know, parents, or let's say an African system, people do not believe in will. I don't know what is your story that you've had in those lines. Where is my camera? Oh, you can raise this one. This one. Uh, thank you for having me. Karibu sana. Yeah. So let's get into the conversation. Uh, I would like to speak in, so, uh, in Swahili. All right, to involve, yeah. To involve yeah. my fans. Yes. My fans are going to Swahili. All right. Yeah. So will ni poa uandike mapema kwa sababu inakuwa poa yani kuji kuwa package ukiandika mapema ni poa yes yeah at your at your like 30 30 years naona ni poa ukiandika mapema yeah. because unajua kifo ni kitu tutaraji mm. inakaa many times yeah 
Personally, for you, would you write a will at this age right now? Yeah, There's somebody who said here on the comment section that they wrote it at 18 and they specified ni mom na wife ndo wata share property I don't think that's so, so much correct uh -huh. because 18 uja jijua uh -huh. maybe 24 to 30 but also I'm looking at you know circumstances that lead you to write a will is that you have property and these are assets that possibly in terms of finances or tangible in Africa in Africa you have, you have pro pro property at 18 years no I'm saying for a will to be written you must have property or assets uh, you so must. you can't just write yes you can't just write out of the blues. You, you're writing air. <laughs> Thank you for the information. In Africa, yeah. we have no property, and especially where I come from. I come from the small case, Kangwari, Kibira. So there's there no atuna kitu, bro. We just have get out of our BBO property. Yeah. Now, just we zungu, we cut off forty cents on our goods. We zungu system here, we give them no fungoli account. We let them take eighteen millionaire. Right. Africa, we give them ni gideri. Gideri ni bro. Tuambia ni ukweli. Alright. Mimi si msanii nimekuja hapa ku fake. Yeah. Tuambia ni ukweli. Mhm. Mm In Africa we have no hizo accounts za watoto. Yeah. But tukiangalia wazungu wako na hizo account. Kidogo mm -hmm. kidogo Karen huko capital case. Right. Yeah, but we come from small case. Bro, we are hustling from hand to mouth. Yeah. We are just surviving. Yeah. But also ukiangalia in those lines that you've mentioned, uh somebody mentioned uh Ata kalam, it's property. So, and, and the key and the mboch, ama and the, your mom, well, ama and your he, dad, ama sim pia. He lacks the right information that the person. Uh huh. Ana information. Uh -huh. What do you think of that? You need to follow like him, Zalendo youth coach, about okay. information. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> All, right. All right, let me get to you, Albert. To look at sometimes when you write a will, uh, African parents, most of us actually feel like you're predicting your death. But like you said, with the new system and the wave of uh, being woke, uh, when you're like, it's helping, but at the same time, when you look at it, it's killing our African practice, mm. especially traditions. Don't you think maybe after some time, Kuna venye tuneza simulate our African parents to our funze venye. You can adapt to, you know, the new age. You know, uh, you don't have to permanently hold on to the belief systems that you know. And things can change. Things can be better. There's technology. There's a lawyer, you know. Mm. Don't you think it's possible? I, I think it's possible. And uh, we should start embracing that. According to me, Sakwa, because it is not once, it is not twice. Several times, waga tunapata kuwa familia wa mepigana. Particularly families and music on a kitu, a chana na kama easy zay tu. Yeah. You see, uh, utapata kwa familia haina kitu, but family any kona kitu, utapata kwa not once, not twice, wame pigana, siji, nini may happen, wame nini wame wana kwa sababu ya mali. So, yeah. <coughs> it is high time we tell, we try to share with our parents, particularly when you are kona kitu. And remember, the definition of my when are you supposed to be having a will, I said to me, yeah. it's not time bound. Mm. Mina, naona kama si time bound. As long as you have something, an asset. Yeah. Now your asset ni ya na any age. Nowadays, ata majinzi, utapata someone ako 20, lakini ana drive, you see? Right. Sure. Yeah. Now, ujui the next time you are going to, to live mm. in this world to meet your creator. So, yeah. once you are entitled to something, you should start writing a will. So, it is high time we share with our parents. Yes. Especially when you are kubado strong into culture. Yeah. We share with them to ambi, you know what, you are not here forever. Right. And remember, you are leaving some people. Like mm. in my family, we are three of us, we are three men. Right. Now, kama kuna specification, na ile landi nyume baki, dad haku sema, especially nataka ika hivi na hivi. Yeah. What is he leaving behind? Yeah. Of course, we'll fight. Because yes. mimi, I won't sit back and watch my eldest brother taking that, mini baki bila, you see? Right. Because it's ours. And that's a fight anyways. Yeah. So that's why it is high time we start telling them that, you know, it's all about believing. Yeah. Tuki believe kuwa, if you write a will as early as now, yes. you're calling for your death. I know it will require time, but yes. we can uh, still do it. Yeah, let me get back to you, Mr. Lendo. Uh, when you look at it, uh, well, with what he said, most of the issues is in a stem around story, the shamba, especially for those that come from at least places where they have large parcels of land. Immediately, Mzee uh, and Kufa, the fights start. So in that, in that kind of experience, probably a will would have helped better. 
because I'm a same other three. First one, son, I get maybe a quarter an acre, the next one, yiri yada, so that I can get one of these rangos. And then also to me, scare stories is what you can mapanga, left, right, and center, juya shamba. There are actually many. If you look at the news outlets, yeah, there's so many. Do you think in a side of sana? Mm. To avoid all these dramas, familia kuwana, ni vizuri sana, mimi kama youth leader, I would advise people to andike wheel mapema. Mm. To avoid those of it as a key family. Yeah. That's just the point. Very simple, clear. Mm. Wase wa andike tu wheel mapema. Mutuwe ni ujinga ya, mm-hmm. ujinga ya ati, unaita kifo, yu ni ujinga. Mm-hmm. Kifo itakamu. <laughs> Unaza gongo na nduthi ukifo kapa indi ukufo. Bro. Exactly. Kifo ina kujaga. Ngetuna mawe wangu. Kifo ina kujaga any time. Aha. So to andike wheel, yeah. especially my, my dad is there to, what we can afford in Africa ni hizo shambaza kuachiwa. Hakuna yeah. account ingine ya ti mtoto wa mefunguliwa. Niambia mtoto mmoja unajua kuna account in your environment. 18 years reading 10, 10 billion. Niambia. Mention. And as a cool and if let you, ah, cool 90% of people who are rich, they don't Don't, don't lie to our viewers. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just don't lie. No, you're very wrong. 90% of people who are rich, they don't advertise their wealth. The people you see who are advertising that they are rich, they are not. So there's so many people who are even 15 and they have over 30 million. <laughs> uh, you can read about it. <coughs> you know, I'm a reader and I come from a background of news, so you're wrong. You're wrong. Stick with that, you're wrong. Okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's get to now in this modern day age. When it comes to stories, uh, us growing up as firstborns, like firstborn utapewa gari. And then there's also inclusivity. Nowadays, madem wanapewa land. <laughs> in most Africa, especially in the Western Yanza region, rarely do they give uh, daughters property. But nowadays, because of the modern day, you know, age, daughters are being accepted to be given, you know, land, etc. What's your sound off on that? I think that that's so good. What one of our wasongena believers naenda? I support. Me as a Right. Alban, if you said you had three brothers in your yeah, family. Yeah, and one, one sister. And one sister. Mm-hmm. Would you accept her to be given love? <laughs> yeah. Imagine Sakwa, she's part of us. Yes. She's one of our own. Sasa kama tunapata, mbona ya sipate. Right. Yeah, so even me, I totally agree with that. In fact, Kama one day maybe, but God forbid, such a thing happens, maybe my dad or my mom, they both have to leave. Now, wameacha, maybe wameandika a will, because this is a property, whatever is there. I may not know, maybe Ajayi disclose, whatever is there, maybe. Aseme yes. and I distribute. Na Nikose, the name of my sister, yeah. I feel bad because she's part of us. So I also agree with our youth leader here. Waschana, right. let's include them. They are also people. Yeah. yeah. So nowadays, to watch your stereotype, at you are to kuolewa mahali, no? Hata wewe utaenda kuoa mahali, maybe mwenye utaoa, what if sakwa, you marry yeah. someone mwenye pia akoi, alikuwa entitled to such, is it, yeah. is it a plus to you? Yeah, it's a plus. It that's, is. That's a big one. Yeah, yeah, so that's why we should include them. Right. Mm. Yeah, uh, Mzalenda, what do you think in a contribute to family fighting, especially after, let's say the head of the family who had maybe some properties, Amekufa, from your understanding? Because, kujipanga. Uh, yeah. As long as you, you, you see your pocket, your goods, your property. And you can win the Pema. Yeah, and the way this of you to be Kufa. Could you panga too? Yes. And you can to win. You feel such a family. You know, the moment our talk on the one, they are killing them. Wanye kwa wanye. Right. Iza mavita. Mm-hmm. So kwa wadi, wandika will vizuri, balance everything. Watoto wate madem, mavijana. Yes. Let's balance everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kujipanga atuma pema. Alright, uh, Alban, let me get to it. There's somebody here and it will allow it and asema, there's no need kwa wandika will because that is called again your death. And then there's another one here and asema, eh, hey, mbona sasa ni andike will because Mr. Kiko kufa mapema. Uh, <laughs> From just what we've discussed right here, actually a lot of people say, think that if you write a will, you will die early, mm-hmm. but you've just discouraged that. If you have property, ensure that you write a will. And then when I say, Mati, uh, if I write a will, there's some people who will feel it's unfair, and so 
ni beta tu uende na uache wapambane wa wako wao which i feel like that that's 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 a that's a fight already that's a dilemma that's very wrong that's yeah. very wrong unajua we are entitled to think differently and i respect his or her opinion i don't know whether it's a he or a she is <coughs> a she a she i respect her opinions but then now uh, sakwa what's the point of dying now wache watu wa uane hapa unajua the truth will always hurt but to an extent to some level then you will get over it it's just like heartbreak heartbreak yeah. itakuuma yes lakini you will get over it by some t- after some time but think of it this way mzaya amekufa ameacha will that property doesn't belong to you it belongs to your brother or somebody else mwenye ame trust ukweli itakuuma maybe for a year thinking of eh yele shamba imeenda hivyo hiyo gari imeenda hivyo hiyo pesa imeenda hivyo but then you will get over it because it's not yours hata umuwe ni yake kisha kwa decided and now think of it this way umekufa na haujaandika will so umewaacha wa uane so mmoja ameua mwenzake yeah. it's something that imeenda hivyo permanently yes, so coach mm-hmm. me just insist on my brother my yeah. brother kwa fitis and i think we're on the same road eh? mm-hmm. listen unazaka vizuri kidogo because this is tv and posture and L- maintain listen eh? yeah maintain your posture um when we say africa we need we, we lack the right information mm-hmm. Ukiangalia Wahindi Wahindi wanapendana sana. Hata ukienda maju, Wahindi wanaishi kwa nyumba moja, makazi and everyone. Mm. Mm. Wako na hiyo love. Mtu kama yule mwenye anasema hivi anafaa ku informed. Anafaa mm. pewe information the right. Mm. Nanda sa, watu waache aje wapambane aje. You killing your sister. You killing your brother. Does that make, make sense to you? Ina make sense. Tunawania shamba. Mm-hmm. Wahindi wakienda majuu wende wapi wanaishi kwa nyumba moja kazi mahali wameleta pamo wako na hiyo love hiyo mm. ndio ito kuwa mzalendo sambaza upendo hiyo mm. ndio kitu tunakosa tu huku kwetu ndio mm. aje bro ya yeah. yeah. sister yako yeah. sio ni yeah. shida yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so what do you think should be done from now moving onwards and i want you also to sound off na story ya uh, city of gola uh he's, he's he's passed on unexpectedly but you know the family family yake is very brief it's just son and daughter but usually kuna kuangana zile stories oh alikuwa na mtoto mwingine family ndoa the family yeah let me finish describing first before you answer but then in, in, usually for such a person in such a caliber there's usually you know stories like you know he had kids like way way back but kwa history uh, cdf is purely what you've seen is what we've gotten and that's on period what do you think not for me that guy was very smart. Yeah. Oh Jamal kwa amejipanga ameoneshana mali atazikwa amesema body yake is kind more than this hours. Alikuwa amejipanga that guy is very smart. Mm-hmm. I like that guy. He's very smart. Alikuwa amepanga kila kitu. Akato kisike kijana wake vile ameongea ameacha opposition poor sana. Right. Mm, Alikuwa amenunua vitu zake amejipanga ame, yani that's a smart guy. People should learn from people like wale wasio wako na brains kama huyo jamaa. Yeah. Do you feel like it's a wake up call to African parents, especially Kenyan? Like learn from something, budget for your kids, but then also be responsible, be, be present in their lives. So peleka shule, if you have the money, watch out and at Harvard because you know when you have money there's no way you can't go, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you feel like it's a wake up call? That's a wake up call. That guy, people should start learning from the watu kama kina Ogola. That guy will remain uh, like a role model to me. Mm-hmm. MC ametuonesha barab- the right direction. Yes. Yeah. Na kuna stories just like oh kuna kuna first wife second wife ni ni ni. No no that guy is smart. Aha. Uh-huh. That guy. Smart the fact that he worked at the army, you know. That guy is smart. And also Alban when you look at it uh, sto- since we are talking about general uh the uh, late kuna kuanga na stories like uh, if somebody worked at the army they were brutal. But if you look at the kids they're well spoken, soft spoken but they're eloquent and loquacious, meaning that they had a really warm childhood. Mm-hmm. The daughter the way she spoke about her dad being present in her life like it's it's it's, it's a sweet story. It it was such a sweet eulogy. How many of African parents actually who are super brutal and they're not even working in the army, but the way they are brutal, you can't even compare to somebody who worked in the army. But you know in in his case, mm-hmm. this guy was so warmly yeah to the to the kids and the whole family that's why i started by saying if you look at the case of ogola <coughs> that man he was a, a family man i can refer to him as a committed and a family man sakwa i know my parents are teachers and my father is a, my dad is a teacher 
na nimesoma kwa hizo shule sometimes alikuwa anafunza na the way my dad ange, ange to handle shule pale primary school is different with the way ataku handle nyumbani shule ni something else ukiwa pale ni discipline ukikosa anakuchapa like anybody na hata kuongezea kiboko wengine juu yenye anachapa watu wengine but you see for Ogola ikikuja kwa line of duty ni line of duty family life family life akikuja huko anapanga vizuri he was ever present as per the descriptions the the sons the son and the daughter gave yeah. he was ever present for them alikuwa na support in any way they needed so mean as i say you see unlike other parents when you unapata maybe hawako kwa profession nyingine unapata kama the father hayuko close sana na watoto unapata the mother ndiye anaacha wako close mzaa yake rudi ni kugombana sijui amelewa amepiga huyu we should not be taking that direction you see yes. general gola at least amekufa but ametuacha akiwa me open akili sana both yeah. to the parents both to the young kama sisi mavijana kuna ile kujipanga you be available for your family for your because at no point aliwai fail kwa line of duty yake if i'm not wrong hakuwa fail na familia pia haja fail hajaacha vita nyuma aliacha me describe everything he was ever present let's start emulating that as parents now let's be there for our kids yeah to be available for them emotionally financially in all dimensions yeah yeah in that spirit uh, mr coach ukianga okay, level where we come from kwa african homes is it uh, maybe somebody never had a good relationship with their dad actually 90% of the guests when you appear kwa issues most of them are university students and they talk of something called kuinama if you've ever been to a higher learning institution i know you understand that kuinama ni kwenda bila food and uh, if you ask why boy child and inama is haongei na dad ama dad alikupeleka uni akakuacha hivyo tu i don't know from your experience you a story gun in those lines did you have active parents who were there for you and you say hey me baba angu alikuwa supportive ama mama alikuwa there for me because if you look at the gap and he's mentioned stories are uh, african parents having a connection with their children from the example of uh, cdf it's really impressive but there's a lot to be done in between in terms of us connecting with our fathers and our mothers uh, uh, so your point is uh, your question is about the relationship right did you have first of all for you do you have a strong bond with your dad and your mom i come from uh, i'm sorry to say this live but i come from a different family right niko kwa nimekuja nimetoka kwa zile family wacheni kaanguke tuone Mm. Eh zile family nili uh, uh, mimi nilikuwa chest nilimesoma baadaye yeah so the i want to mention the school imas media so mimi nilikuwa chest nikiwa form 4 nilimaliza nilimaliza pepa saa 8 na saa 9 nilikuwa nimeenda kuomboa nyumba yangu <laughs> because of music yeah oh you are an, an artist yeah i think you have my music mm. so you can produce you know my pepa we will take a look at it yeah. shortly no worries so nili nilicheze hiyo time yeah. tumetoka kwa zile family bado hata mpaka leo mm. zile family watoto wa, 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 wa nini wazazi wa believe in in business smart people in the society watoto wana believe kuwa mwalimu kuwa daktari hizo mm. zinaitwa kwa hizo white collar job mm. yeah so bado tu africa kwa kwa shimo bado yeah yeah so kiangalia mtu kama mimi siko iko supported sasa hii ndio at least ukianza kuwa successful kwa life ndio kila mtu anaanza kuja nyuma yako right eh masimu zinaanza kuingia juu wamekuona una shine mm. umeanza kuwa milionea wanakuja sasa yeah ndio love sasa ina mm. but have around 2012 to today ni hizo miaka ngapi mm. 12 bila hiyo mambo ya family wazazi nini but you have siblings mother father yeah, baby watu wako Oh, okay. Watu wako, madhi yuko, dada yuko lakini watu wote wako. Mm. Yeah. Alba, let me tell that to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, in a podcast yesterday I was reviewing and just to prepare for today and there's one of the guys who commented akasema your children are your investment. So you can't be out there having money and then your child is out here joining an organization in the name of Wash Wash mm-hmm. to make money. Yeah. And then the question is how many parents invest in their kids and then somebody related and connected that to uh Joel that's first born to CDF mm-hmm. he spoke so highly about his dad the closeness they had the bond that the dad was telling him about what needs to be done in the army in terms of even stories of the west of court and how to alleviate that mm-hmm. so how many fathers walk face to face 
and they are present and active in the lives of their son. He's mentioned nothing, it's crickets. Is it, is, 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 like if we were to do an approximation, in a Zafika percentage in Gapi, because here we are talking about stories of afterlife and mm. you living well. First of all, you never had a bond and a connection with your children, and here you are gone. So I don't know if it's a celebration when you die, your kids are like, ah, ni vizuri ya tameenda, po wa care, or we miss our dad because he was so loving and kind to us. Okay, let me get back to what you said, uh, like uh, children being investment to their parents. I strongly believe in that. Me who believe in uh, such a thing. Because remember, Brian, we are not to live forever. At one point you'll get old. And remember, life is a cycle. Right. You start from your childhood, when you get at your old age, unarudi back, kukua mtoto. I don't know whether we are at par. Oh. Huh? That's an interesting thing. Unarudi sign. because at that time, lazima yeah. you, you, you be taken care of. Ikiwa ni upande wa chakula, sometimes yes. you can't even walk, lazima ukue unasaidiwa una kutembea. Like so that. you will need people around you. Yes. You know, this is where the investment comes in. Mm. Think of a parent mwenye alikuwa ever available. Like, let me nitumie example ya msani. Ona mm. kama, if the parents were never close, at this size ya meanza kuwa somebody. Onona. But right. think of it, uyo mzazi, angekuwa hata available. Because masomo si kila kitu. I'm sorry yeah. to say this for those who strongly believe in academic. I'm also a believer, by the way. And I cherish education so much. But remember, eh, it's not for everyone. Utapata kuna ule mse mwenye pathi yake si education. So unapata kuna wale wazazi wenye wakiona kama the, my son or my daughter, hayuko so much straight in school, haku support kwa these other dimensions. Mm. But maybe your line, your, 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 your path is different from academics. Maybe when you msani, maybe mm. wewe you are good in sports. Right. No, no. So utapata kama haja kusupport. But think of it this way. Ame kusupport in whatever little you do. Hata kama ni usani na uka prosper. Is that plus to them. No, no. But this is where most of them go wrong. Wanaenda wana kuachilia. They are not close to you. Hawa kusupport. But think of these families when you unapata the parent is there like General Ogola. Alikuwa hapo for. Ye yata angezeeka retire from, 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 from army. I'm sure the son and the daughter together with the wife. Wange take care of him perfectly. Hange kuwa lonely. Hange miss anything. But now think of. Because he, he invested in them. In them. Right. You, you're now seeing. Right. It, it doesn't, it, investment does, does not only mean education. Or finances. Or Even finances. Even just being there, yeah. it's enough yeah. for your kids. Yeah. But your encouragement matters a lot. Like, yes. I mean, I love politics, by the way. Uh -huh. I'm a former president of a Presbyterian University. Mm. If you remember my dad, my dad anapenda education sana. Lakini kikuja kwa my line of leadership, together with my mom, wana ni support sana. Sana. Yeah. So think of it if I succeed in my path. Mm. Why uh, do you think I can forget about them? I'm an investment so. to them. No, no. Right. I can take care of them if something is wrong, I'm there for them because mm. we'll invest kwangu. But now yes. think of it when to evil, like akuna any support, akuna anything. Yeah. So they should parents should consider investing at a si pesa. So that at least wakikufa wanacha yeah. somebody who is responsible. The son of General Logola will be somebody in the society, I'm sure about that. Right. Because of kind of brought up wazazi wa nimpea. Lakini right. think of it, ange muachilia tu hivo. Inge kuwa wasa, ange kufa ametuachia problem. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, coaches, unge, do you feel like unge kuwa far, kama your dad and your mom, wange kuwa supportive? That's totally true. They I love these guys. He's so much informed. Mm -hmm. Mimi imagine inge mauldiwa ile time nilikuwa, 2012, when I was around 17 years. Mm -hmm. Saini inge kuwa wapi. Mm. Ingekuwa Chris Brown, ingekuwa, ingekuwa saini me change life ya awa zazi vile wa mesema life Wait. is ina, a cycle. Ina, mm. eh, ingekuwa saini mimi wameka chini, sasa mimi ndona walea. Yeah. Una, una nipata? You are the first born. I'm the last. Oh, you are the last born. Last yeah. born will sumbua sana. Zii, zii, mimi si jawai sumbua. I'm very disciplined. <laughs> I'm a very disciplined musician. <laughs> Meditatea sana. <laughs> no, 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 listen to him. Listen to him. You can just tell. All right. Uh, Listen to youth coach. You can just tell. It's uh, lightheartedly though. See, yeah. you see, you serious. I know, man. What are these crazy catch feelings? Yeah. We are leaders. We are not going to win. We are not going to win. So we go far. In short, if we miss anything, I think I'm going to be a billionaire. Uh huh. Yeah. What do you think you missed? Yeah, yeah, for example, uh, says if your parents died anyways, it doesn't make sense because after they are alive, who go part? They have gone. You never got it. And now you've had to struggle and get your own thing. Don't say my size. Don't pick here. Says you TV. Don't say my This guy come back on something, but they never invested in you. But now they are gone. Will it make a difference? Uh, about the day, them about. Yes, what? whether they're alive or gone. 
because una sema they never helped you anyways no, yeah mimi hiyo sijeka kwa roho mimi i'm easy leader then saina fa kuonesha hiyo love right i'm a good father to, to everyone right now hata mamangu hata nani hata mtu ashai ni hate hata yeah. familia yeah. yangu wanyawaje ipost ngoma kwa status ya whatsapp <laughs> leo hii akiniomba pesa ombagi mara mbili right. naingia game mpesa tata ana sambaza upendo yeah uh, naweza ona message yako na nisikushijibu lakini tume pesa mm. yeah mini god father sai kwa kila mtu right ni tuko now any last bone yeah because my last bone ana kuanga very clear na wasaidia sana sai <laughs> I have yeah. brothers when I'm pigging and I'm like hey sijui nimeshika umefanya nini eh Cuz when him sane no wanajua kwa na kakitu wanajua saini kwa kakitu but initially before kwa hivi kulikuaje Ah bro eh ilikuwa nimetandikwa na life mmm menye kusema ukweli nimetandikwa sana na life mmm I'm a musician from Gikomba hapo ndo utajiri yangu imetoka Ta uliko na uzauke vo Eh I started nilienda Gikomba 2013 with 70 bob mmm yeye ndo amefanya kwa hivyo millionaire au kwa milioni ya size. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> ni kujitambua si ego ama kujisifu. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Na nikwambia God asante. Yeah. Na I want this interview mtu mwenye anaoch pale ikuwe yeah. life changing interview yake. Mm. Unaweza enda gikomba na kwa milioni kama kijana. Eh uh, true, very true. Uh, Cuz that are some of We cherish education so much. Yeah. Uh, I advise everyone. Uh-huh. Please kama uko shule yeah. soma sana. Mm. It helps. Exposure. But I'm saying education is not for everyone. Yeah, it's true. Let's be 50-50, but ukiwa na edu- CSO education as your scheme kisema hivi. Ukiwa na education, listen. Yeah. Ukiwa na education nitakusaidia sana ku relate na wase. Mm. Yeah. Na exposure, una get? Yeah. But the, the right now ile kitu unafaa kupea mtoto sana. Yeah. Kama mtoto wako unaona ashiki. Yeah. Please invest kwa biashara. Yeah, because there's somebody who said you can be there's three types of smart: street smart, life smart, and education That's smart. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Uh, me, I'm street smart. Then I can be street shule. smart. I can be shule. 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 Because I want to balance them all. Well, I don't want to, to be this educated fool. Oh, educated fool. Yeah, I don't. If you say educated, you're gonna suit it daily, like you're gonna get to come fuko. Right. Go nifala. But those say you're gonna have to manage. But where's the manage? yes management no. unazipa unapata uh-huh. uko na dola lakini uko bado fala yeah yeah inataka kuwa kama mimi I'm, I'm a boy from gikomba yes that's why nime nime, nime struggle live nika make nikapata god can bless mm. na nikafanya nini nikarudi shule right na nikamaliza vitu zangu <laughs> hana says i love the conversation please talk about parents who reject their kids by saying they need a dna okay and this is another whole conversation here but then also when you look at it uh, alban mm-hmm. kuna people who don't like taking responsibilities for example tulikuwa tunasema story ya cdf akuja kuwa na mtu akikuja akisema oh mimi nilikuwa anga first wife oh i was someone you know a girlfriend or something oh tulizana yake on campus like everything is crystal clear but do you think maybe some of those stories some of them are true and some of them are unfairly treated and they might end up in misery because maybe this person never took responsibility by acknowledging nilikuwa na watoto wengine kadha nje now i'm 62 i'm gone but yeah please include <coughs> them in this property sharing story yeah i believe it's true it's yeah. true kwa sababu okay before i answer that question let me clear some something over here maybe you got me wrong i didn't say that education see 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 ni ni like you don't need it education is not the key to success <laughs> yeah i was just saying you see it's yeah. not kila mse ako good academically you must say kuna wale street smart kuna wale pia academically so smart, yeah. once you have a paper and you can communicate coherently Mm. and then unapata kama academic si yako then venture into something that you find it's working for you that's what i meant si ati mm. wache shule but as parents wasiposed wasiforce watoto into asome apate a masters lakini yeah. akona nyota somewhere else i don't know whether you're getting yeah, the yeah i get it exactly Very so let me now get back to, to the, the question, to the question. Yeah. you see Brian, uh, it's true sometimes as men in a dependent venye tuna live maisha yetu mm. unapata sometimes ukipata pesa kidogo now you can you can get any story you want unaona <laughs> then you end up messing Money with them talks. yeah mm-hmm. una hapa umeacha kama mtoto next umesonga accidentally umeacha kama mtoto and then you want these kids when you muacha somebody has to take responsibility of them so to mm-hmm. dodge your responsibility unaanza ku call for some things like dna and then ukikufa then now you want to clean yourself you want to go as a clean man you want to forget about those who are unknown then you now consider only those who are known which is very wrong and remember this is your blood <coughs> mm. 
So to me, I think the solution to this, because it happens almost all the time, right. just be a responsible man, just like General Ogola was. Let us make reference to him because at least I'm a Chiliaki, I'm a example. No, no. Yes. If you are in marriage, stick to your partner. And that is why before you get married, ensure that you have a friend, you have a whole package in whatever you are getting married to, whoever, yes. not whatever, whoever you are getting married to. So yes. that is the end that you go marry, then unanza ku, toka, mm. nje. Then eventually ukikufa, unacha, such stories. Yes. So let us consider it from all dimensions. As you live your life as a man, mm. or as even a lady, mm. you must be sure of the kind of life you are living, particularly yeah. to men, and early when you are kuna pesa. So that as you die, usiache kama kuna mtu uja consider, unataka somebody else to take responsibility. It's very wrong. Yes. Remember, growing up without a father, sakwa. Or you know where your father is, lakini your father doesn't recognize you. In yeah. a That's hurtful and painful. Yeah, so much. Mm. Mm. So some we have to exit coaches. Uh, yeah. Would you write? Are you going to write it anyways? <laughs> yeah, very sure. Kongo yoni is very important. Uh -huh. I think uh, nafa kwanza kujipanga jino na tumiaka tumesonga. Mm. Niandike Will. Will <laughs> is, 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 is very good. Yeah. Connie, how old? Anyways, we'll get into that later. But thank you, guys. Uh, how can people get you, your social media coaches, and your music very uh, fast? Uh, thank you. Me, I'm Lucky Mzalendo. All of us. Judge Complicate. Mm. Lucky Mzalendo. Kamo, hey, ni mananziki unataka kusaidiwa. Na pia mlete biashara za makamera za nini. Right. Yeah, I have studios. Lucky Mzalendo, Instagram, TikTok, Beyonce, Pinterest. Mm. Na pia kuna channel ya studio ni toka Baridi Records kwa YouTube. Nice. Cheers. And you're also the CEO. Yeah, I'm the CEO. Right. Kabaridi Records, Kabaridi Studios, mm -hmm. like in Zalendo Fashion Shops. Nice. Yeah. That's a whole franchise, man. Yeah. So, so reach out. I'm going to say my socials very fast. Uh, what about you, Alban? Okay, uh, many social media, Nico active kwa only three platforms. That is Facebook, X, uh -huh. and uh, Instagram. So, probably Facebook, I'm... Um, Alban Oyugi, as Alban simple Oyugi. as that. That's how you'll find me there. Tukikuja kwa X, najita Alban underscore NG. That's where I belong. Ukiingia pale, follow, I'll follow you back. Then we do our political businesses. Ukienda pale Instagram, najipata kama Jatelo. Jatelo, J-A-H underscore Telo, T-L-L-O-H. So, so, yeah. you guys have said it all. And thank you so much for sharing thank your you. insights. Coaches will be let, but thank you for coming through. Emisha. We are done. We are done. Done. And we'll definitely see you tomorrow for Innovations and Entrepreneurship Tuesday and our Y244 channel underscore on Instagram. And personally, mine is at Brian Sakona One. Have a fantastic Monday. See you tomorrow.